<coughs> Good afternoon. Here we are, um, and I will be continuing to work on the indigo color of thought symbol that is coming creatively. I have to admit that I've done a bit of work between my last live and now, which I will be sharing with you now. It's um, quite a lot of different work that I've done, as you will see. <laughs> so what I'm doing now which will take a long time. You see those little sparkles? Well, I'm going to do several of them. In the last few days, I measured it out with a ruler so that we could do it geometrically the same. So here we have, where do I show that to you? <laughs> Ginger Gilmore, where are we? There we are. Okay, so there are a lot of these. And if I lift up closer, they're self-adhesive. And I bought quite a few of them around Christmas time for another project. But here we are. It's going to be used for this project. You might have to get a cup of tea and I'm not sure whether I'll be able to add them all today. Well, in fact, I know we won't. Oops. <laughs> Oops. There it goes. I've lost that one. <laughs> oh, dear. I was... um adding them onto another sculptural panel at Christmas. And because of their inclination to do exactly that, I, uh, and even though it was COVID and I had lots of time to work on it, it didn't, also didn't seem appropriate. But with this one, I think it'll be okay. And as you can see, I added some silver here and I've scraped some of it off because I actually think I'm going to put these in there. So that indigo, which is to do with the vault of heaven and the stars and the universe, is coming down to us. And this is the process that I have been so looking forward to, but I had to get the indigo correct. The other important thing about this for me is to make sure I breathe. Some of these paintings can be done in two days, like the golden version of the Golden Empress. Um, this one, as you can imagine, will take a bit longer to do. You might also see I started working on the face since I last saw you. And that will take a few more layers. I think that's going to work. And then after it's finished being applied, I will put the glaze over it, which will be another way of ensuring that they stick because I want it to last 
for a long time. And what um, Juliet asked the other day, I don't know if you're here today, but um, where are you? Up, down, there. This is the type of glaze that I use. I turn it around. Can you see the label? Um, it's a matte glaze, which comes from Robertson in London. They have a gloss and a satin. And I wanted, um, and it also doesn't change color, which is important because um, sadly, Cecil gave us a glaze that I made and he used, which over time starts to yellow. And because it was a glaze and not a finishing glaze, restorers can't get into the paintings further into all the layers and then bring it back, unless they're really clever. And that's when I changed my glazes because I didn't want them to t turn. So it's really important if you're going to use that principle. And the reason why I use it and what Cecil also taught us is that we're more than the physical paint. We're more than the physical canvas or our anything, we're more than even our thoughts. And to catch that is to do with reflective aspects of the color. Whether you, the reflective aspect of light. So some colors can be opaque and some will be translucent and some will be transparent tints. And then there's the glaze. So that you're playing with light all the time and that's what we are. We are the physical body, the emotional body, the intellect, the soul and all the spirit realms beyond that. So for me, art, Creativity is a, a matter of reflecting the totality of what life is. So, um, with the glazes, I've often ex experienced new colors happening as it travels through. And equally, because we're a triangle of physical, and the invisible, in the higher spirit realms, and within the invisible part of the triangle is your mental body, there's your emotional body. There are all these different layers of what we are. And I want my work to reflect that. So in places there'll be a very definite white or an opaque color so that the light only comes to you. It doesn't travel through. And then there'll be transparent or translucent colors and the glazes so that you're playing with light all the time. And as I said, that's what we are. And because I believe that when uh, your um, experience of being human is balanced and harmonious, you are a very beautiful being. As you can see, this is not going to be fast. <laughs> but creativity is best at a slower pace and often in the silence.
Sometimes creativity requires a great patience. What I have found is that to find harmony between the mental and emotional body and the physical personality, you only find that when they're all in balance with each other. So for me to do this particular exercise is bringing in the mental body with the emotional creative side in the physical form. There was a time I thought I had to just, you know, be a hippie <laughs> and dance and be happy. But as we advance and humanity is advancing right now, you need to find the balance between the mental, the emotional and the physical aspects in order to bring in the harmony of the spirit. It takes great patience. So, but I don't spend a lot of time in a lot of my paintings doing that. It's just the being content. That's bringing in a lot of light. Can you uh, see it? A bit. Mm -hmm. Which way do we do this? I'm gonna have to practice. <laughs> anyway, it will be seeable once I fill the whole thing in. Knowing that this was going to uh, be very involved. I thought I'd do also a bit of painting. I've been pondering what I do up here. And um, I already experimented after my last live about making it all violet, which is an important color within the vault of heaven, you know, just when the night is, the day is becoming the night, you know, there can be these amazing colors, but it's not quite working. So if it's supposed to be a lot of stars up here and it's the universe, I might just paint some white there first, so then I can capture other dimensions of blue and um, I might have a, it's another just impatient thing with creative force. I don't know if you can notice, but there was a pyramid down here. That was all silver the other day. <laughs> but that didn't work, but it might turn out to be something entirely different. So. Here we go. <laughs> See what it feels like. Get my lingwin. Well, looking at it upside down, the energy feels interesting.
all of these um, sessions will be replays will be put on YouTube my YouTube channel and even my color of thought we went through the basic healing aspects of color in my color of thought hmm. that's looking interesting at least from this angle but again as you know I have to let it dry before I experiment with anything else in this area looks like a chalice doesn't it so symbolically what's going to appear at the bottom of anything I'm not going to rush it As we said um, in the week that we talked about white, it actually reflects and holds all the colors. So in a way, it might be appropriate for this to be the chalice of, of heaven, because it also represents the divine possibilities of who we are. I'm looking forward to um, doing orange and yellow and green. It's already one of the first images is already a sparkle of white. Mm -hmm. It won't go away. Let's get another trusty tool. Up the bit. Hmm. It's not a sparkle, but I have to trust that the white paint will cover it eventually in the other layers that we do. a bit more of the sparkles. Yeah. 
it's a little bit troublesome sometimes. Almost reminds me of some of the 30s hats and things. Yep, this is going to take a while. Thank you, creative intuition. <laughs> but it'll be something else. Sometimes they're not so easy to get off when you want to run around. Ooh, I'm going to love this. These little sparkles come in different sizes, but I think that would not serve the purpose of what this needs. And as you can see, the glue sometimes moves them around. So not only do you have to be patient with putting them on here, you have to keep going back and lining them up. Okay, that one doesn't want to come off. Let's try this one. Okay, that one keeps wanting to move. Uh-oh. Ouch. <laughs> I just stuck myself. Do need to get more? I had some white on my finger, which went onto the canvas, as it does. And there seems to be a little fingerprint here. Danger, danger, working upside down like this. But I figured you'd appreciate it more. Got some random sparkles on my desk.
two went flying. Goodness. Maybe I'll get a better technique as time goes by. See that one moved over again. Stop it. Stretch it. I need to do a clean up after this. I keep flying everywhere. Where'd that one go? I don't know if you can actually see anything that I'm doing, it's so tiny. Okay, I'm going to turn it around just to see what it looks like. Hmm. Well, there will be some changes before you come next week, I'm sure. What I was thinking is can I what is it gonna look like if there was a line here? And it could go straight. Let's do this side first. So I could go that way, that way, or we could go straight up, and then there could be, oh, my God, where'd that come from? <laughs> it's one of those blurred days. Well, thank God oil paints can cover the worst. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. But I think I will clean the brush. Or maybe I'll even get a different one. This is going to be the white brush. Let's hope it stays like that. Oh, you know what it was? Is that this blue is wet. So do we make a line? This is just a daring process, which I might have to change and overpaint in a bit. As I've said before, we're, we're creating um, 
symbols. Which unites above and below. <laughs> I think I'll live with that for a bit. See how that feels. You never know what it's going to be like by tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm going to do these lives at 4 o'clock on Mondays and Fridays. And then I have my live at 7 o'clock on Wednesday. The um, Colour of Thought have has finished this cycle because the next cycle is um, deeper guidance in meditation and I think it's only appropriate to do private Zoom classes. Hmm. We shall live with this for a while because the amount of um, Geometry will um, will be influenced by all these sparkly lines coming down, the overflow of light. Hmm. Well, my special people, I think. Um, let me turn around so you can sort of see what it might be. So I'm going to come back to you. <laughs> it's an interesting process um, doing this before other people watching <laughs> and but it's going a lot easier than I thought but of course in the week I well over the weekend it was I needed some other time to um, work on this to myself in my own silence but it's a, it's it's like a um, blending of us unity and diversity that is each one of you is a special person and you're watching and I'm tuning into that as well as my own creative source so in a way the power of this is coming from all of us <laughs> so um, I will see you on Wednesday or I'll see you on Friday and thank you all for coming a lot and be well as always lots of creative beauty bye